like in that there, the tank sits in the mud, so you get cooling out of the mud. This one okay. here, we don't need it. I mean, this whole machine's only got about 20 gallons of oil in it. Okay. There's a kill switch on the bag. If you do blow a hose, you're down to fix the hose, but it'll just it'll just uh, shut the engine down, fix the hose, and you'll start up again. Okay. But that's so you don't burn up any pumps, you know. All right. But I like to close loop because once you compress all the air out of that oil, your pumps and everything last forever. We use this before on a machine that's 11 years old. They ain't never done nothing to it. It's got thousands of hours on it, on that oil, on that, on those pumps and everything. So it's a, it's a really, really solid improvement. Mud system is a 500-gallon mud system, 3 by 4 centrifugal, so you got full. There's any, any rig in here. got the same mud as any rig on the floor with a centrifugal got in here. So you got good mud flow, three and a half rod, two and three eighths IF. Would you explain your carousel system? Oh, sure. Yeah, that's All right, Excel. How the carousel system works. There it is. I got your name written all over this one. I got to make a white one for you. Why? But so that it's a spiral turret. So in other words, the rods will spiral into the middle. You'll see them rolling there. So they don't have much. Pick position, so you got a magnetic rod handler that'll come out and pull the rods out of the carousel, and pull position into the top head, and it goes out of your way. Pretty much, breakout is it automatic? No, no, yeah. however automatic you are. <laughs> no. That's a standard breakout, but we use the, we use the tool style instead of pipe wrench style, uh -huh. so the rods are, are double flatted, right. and this is 120 degrees, yes. so just grab a joint wherever you grab sure. it, it'll break. Sure. Break the joint, you pull off, put back on for the top brakes, and put it out of the way. So it's pretty quick and easy. Wow. It has gravity feet on it for drilling, so you get real gravity. You don't have to, but you got to pull down and hold back if you need it. So the top head, the top head. Uh, this comes from Multi Power out of Canada. It's a proven top head. They've made them for years. I like it because it has a built-in shock shock. Oh, that's excellent. So, uh, uh, no o rings or nothing, just built in and it passes through the head, so I really like it. It reminds me of a T4. So how I'm running it pin up, so when you break the joint, the mud blows down, not up. I like pin up. But so you woke up one day and said, I want to build a rig. What happened? Well, why? Uh, you know, get something in your head, you got to get it out. That's what it is, Joe. <laughs> now, yeah. we, uh, we submitted this uh, November 3rd to the fab shop. Uh -huh. So five weeks we out of here. That's crazy. Yeah, that it was a lot of work. Amazing. Thank you, Jim.